Hello, good evening. In this video I'm going to show you how to install mods properly. So first thing you want to do is oop. First thing you want to do is type in armaholic and download whatever mod takes your fancy. So this takes my fancy, click download. And then browse to your download file folder, find your download and then click extract yes 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 and then you want to copy both the at name and the keys so the at name is the main mod folder the keys holds the sort of thing that lets you onto some servers so and then go to your directory straight into the arm 3 folder and copy After you've done that, click your Armour 3 icon and send to desktop. Now there's two different ways of doing this. You can right click properties and just type dash mod equals at dm or whatever the name is. Like I said you can get your name from here. These ats are your mod names, your, your mods and then semicolon, repeat or you can copy this target and create a text file and from here you can do the same same thing this time we're going to type no splash because that reduces the loading time and then dash mod equals followed by the mod name and then semicolon to add more afterwards if I want. And what this does is it lets you add more mods than you would be able to using the normal target line. Also it's easier to sort of see if you made any mistakes because one spelling mistake will make this not work. After you've done that click file, save as, save as a all file type and name it and then dot bat dot bat and this will make one of these funny little things and this is your shortcut you can delete your old shortcut and you can just double click and that will start your game of mods while we're here I'll show you how to use 6 data. if you decide to use 6 data, you can skip this part and the, the sort of browsing on Armaholic because you're only able to download mods from 6updata. So link is below the video for 6updata. When you install 6updata it will also install something called 6 Launcher. Don't use that, it's a bit weird. And it tries to force you to download things that you probably won't want to download. Okay so after it's loaded up click on profile and select Armour 3 so now in these things you want to browse to mods and anything that says install next to it are on the three mods so let's make a preset to do that right click on the left hand side new preset select it and then have a look through all these armor three mods you can download and find one you like right click, add to preset. After you've done that, install and process by keys. And then you get these exception things that you have to accept. And it will download your mods for you. And after you've done that, from here you can click your preset and launch the game. So that's two different ways of installing mods properly. So hope you find this video useful and I'll see you next time.